Hey, welcome to uh, Laker Nation here at uh, Lakeview Public Schools, and I am teaching Art 270 Summer School for Art Educators for Elementary uh, Methods in Teaching. So what we're going to do today is we're going to learn how to hatch and cross hatch to create value. Now, this is uh, a way what most people call shading, but what we're going to call hatching to create value. And what we're going to be shooting for in all of our Mark Kistler drawings that we're going to do. So we're going to be doing a number of book uh, drawings from our book that are going to teach us how to draw and to use different or various media. And when we draw from this book, we are going to be doing some shading and creating value. And so the value that we're going to create is a technique called um, hatching and cross hatching. But first, before we show you that, I just want to show you some of the tools that we use. So these are all pencils. Uh, this is this one right here is an H hardness. This one is a HB. This one is a B. This one is a 3B, this one is a 4B, this one is a 6B. Now, what does that all mean? Well, H means that it is somewhat hard, and B means that it is soft. Now, your typical pencil that you get when you buy a pencil at the store is you buy a pencil that is a B, and it's called an HB. And so the perfect example of this is a Dixon Ticonderoga. This is an HB, and it is considered a soft lead. And if I was to, uh, I'm going to use my big one because I got pencil lead going there. If I was to make a mark, it's going to make a mark about that value without pressing hard. This one is a 2H, and you can see a noticeable difference in how dark the lead is. And then if I take a 6B, and you can see, you can even see just how that lead rubs off. Oops, this pencil isn't very sharp. But you can see that it is darker than the HB. And I have another version right here, which is called a sketching pen. It's a 6B. So, yeah, look at that. See? So what an artist does is an artist draws it out first with the H and then might use the HB to add some more depth. And then when they really want to go dark, they add uh, the 6B. And then there's pure graphite. This is a Create a Color monolith. It says it's a 4B, but it, it is lighter than that one. I don't have an 8B with me today, but... An 8B or a 9B really makes a dark pencil mark. So that is some of what we're going to learn how to do with hatching. So the first thing we're going to do with hatching is we're going to create four uh, rectangles or squares. So I'm going to create my first ones like this. And then I'm going to erase out this space. So now I have four separate little value marks. I'm going to take my Ticonderoga, and I took a, uh, I like to take a blade and sharpen it like that. But normally a pencil sharpened with a hand sharpener looks like this. And if you lay it on the table, it leaves about that much height off. And that's how we want to hold it. We want to grasp the pencil like this, and we want to go back and forth with our hatching. All right? So I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to start with my hatching. So what I do is I lay a horizontal and I just move my pencil back and forth. And I'm going to raise this up so you can see my hand movement and my belly. And here we go. I'm just going back and forth, putting a light layer down. Now I'm going to repeat and go to here and do the same thing. I like to know how many layers I'm putting down to create value. So when I do this, notice it's the same technique. I'm not varying my pressure. I'm keeping the pressure the same. So that is one layer of hatching. If I stayed with hatching, I could put another layer down exactly the same, but I don't want to do that here. I'm now going to go to a crosshatch. I'm going to go a vertical crosshatch. 
So I'm going to go 90 degrees from the first one, and I'm going to go across the surface. I'm going to do the same here and do the same here. Now, that means I've got two there, two there, two there. I have one here. You can already see that this is starting to get darker. Now I'm going to take this one, and now I'm going to go at a 45-degree angle, and I'm going to create a... And I do the same here, and the same here. Now you can actually see that my finger got caught on the edge of the paper, and I actually pressed harder. So I made a darker mark. There's three. Now I'm going to do one more layer here. I'm going to go 90 degrees again. Now, the reason why we do this, instead of holding your pencil like this and going like this, because when I do that, notice how dark it got already. And if I take my eraser, and I've got a kneadable eraser here right now, oops, right here, and I'm going to erase this, you can see that it leaves the pencil marks. But if I take my pencil and I go... the pencil marks disappear. So the biggest key is, is that I actually damage the paper when I hold the pencil like I'm writing. But when I hold my pencil with my hand like this and I make these hatch marks, it continues to get, um, I can layer graphite across the table and it doesn't make any marks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase the amount of hatches by just doubling. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna leave this one at four. This is gonna be light gray medium gray, dark gray, and this one should be black. So now I'm going to go here and I'm going to add the fifth, and that's going to go horizontal. And this one goes horizontal. And I'm going to keep repeating that. So there's five, five. I'm going to go vertical. Notice I turn my paper to make it easier. And I'm lightly adding. I'm not going dark. I'm just lightly adding. I can control how many layers I put on, and I can control the depth of the mark, meaning that when I come back with that eraser, and I'll show you in just a moment here, I can pull off individual layers of graphite. So there's eight layers. Now I'm going to take my tool, and I'm just going to go like this. Notice how I pulled off an individual layer. When I shade with a regular pencil i can't do that so the layer goes there i'm gonna there's eight here i've got to put a couple layers back on to darken to get that to that same level that it was there and i'm not gonna hurry it i'm just gonna add now what i'm gonna get to is probably about 20 layers on this side i've got eight here i'm gonna pause the video and i'll just do more layers and show you So as you can see now, I've added, um, I've got 12 and 12. Um, this one is going to be, I could go a little darker with this if I wanted, but you can see a value change between these three. So I'm going to go darker with this one, probably add eight more. All right, so I've created a value scale using my HB pencil. Uh, just to show you that if I used the 6B, you can see that... The 6B is almost as dark as that right off the bat. But watch just what happens if I use the 6B. There's four with 6B, five, six. And you can see that the 6B is already way darker. So you want to be able to have these different pencils to create different marks. So yeah, now I've created a value scale with another one. <clears throat> now, there is a fifth spot. That's zero. And that is the white of the paper. So when we do a drawing, we don't want to leave a lot of white of the paper. So example here now, 
Yeah, this is a five scale one where we've done additional more, but you can use pens with this hatching and you can use pencils and charcoal. So the same skills that are used are similar, but you'll notice a difference with different types of pen. All right, so this was how to hatch and cross hatch and create a value scale. So I'd like you to do one of those, take a picture of it with your smiling face and one on a neutral background and upload it to D2L.